crappy shots and today I've got a treat for you it's the Umrex gauntlet in 22 caliber and I've got that uh, cheap T wad scope on it that I got from Amazon and uh, today we're gonna be doing some uh, target shooting just kind of a basic review of the gun and where you can get one now, I picked one up off of PatriotFirearmsUSA.com and uh, if you go to that website and you order one of these, be sure to contact, uh, contact them and let them know that Brett from Brett's Crappy Shots sent you and they'll give you free shipping. Um, and the only thing that I got out of the deal was I got free shipping. Um, I hope to maybe in the future make them a partner to Brett's Crappy Shots and maybe get in some more uh, guns from them and uh, make it a little bit more cost effective for me <laughs> uh, because this is an expensive hobby to get into. Uh, you know, I'm, I've got a ton of different guns and I've spent a lot of money on some of them. but. Uh, this gauntlet you can get right now. Uh, they've got the 177 and the 22. I got the 22, and it's uh, 228.99. Pretty much everywhere else has it for 2.99. Uh, maybe one or two in there at 2.89. Um, but I, but right now, PatriotFirearmsUSA.com has this gun for 228.99. And if you mention my name you get free shipping so this has you know it's a PCP bolt action it's got a 10 round clip and this one's a little bit different from a lot of the other uh, PCP air rifles um, this one's got kind of like an air or a, a paintball style tank on it and That's the gauge, and that's where you feel it. It's got a swivel swing sling the mount right there. Oop, just hit the roof, and it's got another one back here. Now, the cheek piece back here is adjustable. You loosen this stud and turn this dial and it will go up or down depending on which way you turn it. Here's how you degas the gun. Umrex provided a tool to put in there to degas your gun. I'm not going to walk through that. And uh, right here's the safety. I kind of like it. It is a little difficult at first, but that's safe and that's ready to fire. Um, I have shot this gun a lot. I've been meaning to do a review on it for a while now, but uh, I went and bought a new Ford Flex and uh, traded my minivan in on it. Uh, it was the minivan had about 110,000 miles on it, and we're getting ready to go on vacation, so I figured it was time for for a new vehicle. So. I went and got me a Ford Flex, and uh, so far I enjoy it, but uh, here lately with work and uh, working on family members' vehicles and even a couple of my own, it's been difficult for me to get out and shoot, much less make a video. So, I'm going to pause you, I'm going to go downrange, set up the target, and uh, I'm going to test out six pellets with it 
and uh, at the end of those six um, we'll go up check out the target and while I'm shooting I'll be talking about the gun a little bit so I'm going to pause you and then we'll get to it All right, guys, I'm back. All right, first off, I'm going to be shooting the Crossman High Velocities. It's a 9.5 grain pellet. It's an alloy. Uh, so let's get into it. Now, with these pellets, <clears throat> I, I've, I've already done the crony data and all uh, earlier today, and uh, with these pellets, I noticed they were moving pretty close to a thousand feet per second. Uh, they're in the 950s range, I believe. And uh, in other guns and all, I'd be lucky to be able to hit my shed back there. And the Umrex Gauntlet is just like all the other guns when it comes to shooting these. <laughs> oh, this is funny. They are literally flying all over the place. And I'm probably just going to go up after these 10 shots and uh, show you just what I mean. <laughs> that didn't even hit the cardboard. <laughs> it, these pellets are real shiny, so when they get in the sun there, you can see them in the scope. You can see them just twisting, flying off into all over the place there. <laughs> yeah, these have kind of ruined the, the other targets a little bit. We'll go up and mark those. Yeah, okay. That, that for the Crossman High Velocities. So let's go up and look at that one real quick. I'm going to grab my pen here and mark it. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, there's one of them that hit. Uh, I think that's it right there. Uh, okay, I got one here, one here, one here, one here, 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 right here. Let's just fill that in real good. Right there and right there. And yeah, down here is where I was aiming. I was aiming for that point right there. See, they just fly wherever they feel like flying to. But all right, it's fun to watch them. All right, I'm going to pause you, set back up, and then we'll start with the Crossman hollow points. 
Okay, we're back. This is the 10 round mag that they come with. Uh, I bought an extra one. And the one that I bought from Amazon, uh, it's a lot smoother to use than this one. This one's very stiff. I, I've thought about maybe loosening that screw a little bit, but I didn't want a chance of maybe messing it up. But it's fairly simple. It operates a lot like the Marauder magazines and such. But you just slide it in like that and then close your bolt. Now on some pellets, it is difficult to get them through the breech. Uh, this gun seems to have a real tight breech on it and some of the larger headed pellets don't really fit that great. But now we're going to use the Crossman hollow points. Now, I'm aiming for bullseye, but uh, I'm just shooting for the groups. And uh, one thing I've noticed about this gun is it doesn't really care if the pellet is expensive or cheap. It shoots them accurately and I'm moving all over the place today but yeah I might as well mention it now with this groove in it like this it's difficult for me to rest up here and it actually sits still uh, it kind of moves around all over the place you it looks like you know, it'd mount up pretty good, but for me, it, it's a very wobbly gun, and it's an awkward, it feels awkward to me to hold. <laughs> Not really a con, though. I mean, it, it's a very unique gun. It's fairly quiet, too. Okay. Well, that's 10 for that. And I'll pause you, reload. We'll go another round. All right, I'm back. Now, I'm still at, uh, I got about 2,400 PSI left. You fill the tank up to 3,000 PSI and then shoot down to about 11, 1,100. Now, this time I'm doing the H&N field target trophies. Man, I'm wobbly.
I love these pellets, the field target trophies by H&N. Just about every gun I have shoots them very well. At least at a distance of 23 yards. see what the next one is. H&M Barracuda Hunters. Okay, I'm going to reload, get the Barracuda Hunters. Be right back. Alright. Now let's send some Barracuda Hunters down the range here. I watched uh, Steve Shally's video on this uh, from AEAC and uh, you know one of his cons were that it feels like a cheap gun you know it feels like a $300 plastic gun and A little bit one thing I don't like is you know this cover here just kind of flops around feels cheap it, it's not really sturdy you know it's not on there sturdy you can't really put much pressure on it you can't you know use it as your rest and get a good stable foundation and uh, you know, putting a bipod here isn't really going to work out that great. But, uh, you know, the gun itself, it feels good. It's got a nice weight to it. You can hold it like that and stay fairly stable. It feels good in the arms. It's an awkward feel, but it is a good Feel. The, the way that this is cut out and on the way it feels in your hand it's nice now these Barracuda Hunters uh, they they seem to do pretty good in a lot of different guns as well and they're a good hollow point they, they open up quite a bit And at 18 grains, that's a pretty hefty pellet. A lot of these are kind of going through the same holes. Now, when I first got this gun, I shot, I think, 10 rounds through it, and it started leaking air out of the breech. I was, at that point, I was cussing. <laughs> yeah. uh, I, I contacted Umarex and uh, asked them, and while I was waiting for them to get back to me, I... Uh, Decided, well, I'll just keep shooting it. You know, it's not a huge leak. I'll shoot until I hear back. And the problem fixed itself after about 50 to 70 more shots. About another tank of air. Um, so I, I don't know, you know, if maybe one of the seals hadn't seated properly and just needed to be wore in. Um... Or, or what the only gripe that I still have with this gun and it has gotten better the more I've used it is 
when inserting a pellet into the breech with the sorry the camera just cut off okay now what I was saying is with some pellets getting a pellet into the breech is very difficult it takes a lot of strength to finally get it to seat the rest of the way in but other than that and it is just limited to a few pellets now it has smoothed out it's a lot easier to function and you know a lot of people I've watched the reviews online will say that this bolt is very difficult and crunchy to get back which that's all you do I, it feels nice and smooth to me and you just pull that back just like that I mean I don't see what they're saying but maybe I just got one of the smooth ones it's hard to tell but I'll reload and we'll come back Another thing I like about this gun versus that crawl is I get 60 shots per fill and out of this tank I've already filled it uh, three times today and I'm still at about 3900 PSI <laughs> so out of a fireman's carbon fiber tank filled to 4,000 PSI or 40 yeah I only had it about 4,300 PSI I can get a ton of fills on this gun where with the uh, crawl I get about uh, 15 fills give or take with it so. all right let's go around I've got the JSB exact jumbo heavy uh, they're the 18.13 grain let's see what I can do with those These are all going in the same hole, just about. If I could quit wobbling, it would be the same hole. Yeah, this gun loves these. Okay, and it's amazing just how fast you can actually go through 10 shots like that. <laughs> the next is going to be the JSB Jumbo uh, Diablos, and uh, they're 15.89 grains. All right, I'm back. I'm really interested in maybe doing a comparison between this and my uh, Annihilator Crawl Arms uh, Mega Puncher. I, I think that would be a, a smackdown, a showdown between the two. 
<laughs> see which one would win. I, I think it'd be interesting to see. Uh, all right, let's go with the JSB Jumbos. 15.89 grain. I guess that was a flyer. Or maybe the first one was. That one hit right beside it. Pause you. Then we'll go up to the target. Okay, we're back at the target. Now remember, the ones that are circled are from the high velocity 9.5 green. All right, right here's the Crossman Hollow Points, and with the flyer included let's get up here you're looking at uh, about an inch and three quarters without the flyer center to center you're looking at about one inch with the crossman hollow points Remember that was one of the 9.5 grain with flyer included You're looking at an inch and oh, What three-eighths If you take away that flyer you're looking at three-quarters of an inch center to center That's that's not too bad at all. Then over here, the Barracuda Hunters. Uh, center to center. About a three quarter inch group. Including that flyer. Uh, let's see, it's probably wider that way. You're looking at uh, three quarter inches this way. Three quarter inches with the flyer. So not too bad especially for a hollow point then down here you got the JSB heavies we got from center to center about a three-quarter inch not quite uh, so. yeah about five-eighths or so and then uh, right there you're looking at uh, about five eighths again, so that's definitely the winner. You know, about five five eighths, half inch to a five eighths group there. And you know, I didn't name this channel Brett's Crappy Shots for for no reason at all. <laughs> uh, can someone do better than this? I believe so. Uh, especially with the GSB heavies, they're they're an amazing pellet, and the uh, field target trophies. These seem to be the two best ones for me in the gauntlet, or at least in my gauntlet. Uh, your mileage may vary. Uh, I'm over here on the Jumbo Diablos. They didn't quite do that great. You're looking at. Uh, an inch and three quarter, no, inch and five eighths with that flyer. Without that flyer, we got uh, just an uh, inch and a sixteenth. 
the the lighter weight Diablos didn't do fantastic um, but I'm very pleased with the jumbo heavies and the uh, field target trophy and even the Barracuda hunters those do quite well now let me readjust the camera here now with the uh, gauntlet do I think it's maybe a better gun than the Crawl Arms Mega Puncher? Probably not. I can get the same style groups between the both of them. Um, you know, it is the Mega Puncher, the customized version made by Troy Hammer, uh, worth that extra couple hundred dollars? Well, put it this way. At 25 yards, those two guns are dead on. You know, they're within maybe a sixteenth of an inch in grouping, if that. Uh, they're both very pellet on pellet accurate. Um, but when we step things out to like a hundred yards, which I haven't gotten the chance to do, um, I've noticed in the videos that uh, when others were doing that uh, it looks like the annihilator or mega puncher by crawl um, whether it's stock or modified have been getting you know out to a hundred yards and even beyond that and still maintaining accuracy whereas with the gauntlet it seems to start opening up uh, it's spread a little bit beyond 75 yards and out to 100 yards. Um, the, the groups tend to open up a little bit more than what they do in the crawl. But at 25 yards, both guns are identical. Um, it's very difficult to, to differentiate the, the pattern differences between them. Other than, you know, my crawl is 25 cal, so the holes are going to be a little bit larger um, but center to center they're both really close to one another um, so you know for two hundred and twenty eight dollars and it makes an excellent excellent entry-level PCP air rifle do I think you can get a better deal when it comes to an entry-level PCP absolutely not <laughs> and I've shot you know quite a few uh, nothing you know quite like Ted's holdovers and uh, uh, Steve Shalley from AEC but uh, from my experience with the, the entry level PCPs and even some of the higher level ones such as the, the crawl arms and uh, having it custom tuned by Troy Hammer um, I don't think you can get a better deal for for under three hundred dollars. Um, and you know, right now Patriot Firearms has that gun, that gauntlet, for two twenty eight. Two twenty eight. That's seventy dollars off from pretty much everywhere else I've seen it online. And then you mention my name and you get free shipping. So that that's a pretty good deal. Now. It does only come with one magazine. I do recommend going to Amazon and getting one from them. Uh, you know, I paid $9.99 for mine. So, and I plan on getting more. But uh, when it comes to ease of use and all versus the uh, crawl arms and all, I, the gauntlet has uh, probably won over uh, when it comes to me just wanting to shoot a PCP for that day, uh, I'll, I'll probably be more tuned to grab the gauntlet than, than the 25 cal uh, Mega Puncher. One, you know, it's a little bit cheaper ammo and it's just as accurate and it's fun. <laughs> They're both very silent guns. I, I do plan to do like a shootout between the two and uh, 
record that to see just how much of a difference there is in accuracy at 25 yards from you know different videos and all I've pieced together uh, what I've been able to accomplish with them but uh, I think they'll be very close so, but this is my video stay tuned watch my next video uh, on the Crossman 1322 and a very special vintage uh, 1377 from back in the 70s, late 70s is when this one was made, or possibly early 80s. I haven't uh, looked up the serial number yet to see what date it was manufactured, if, if I can even find that information. But it is one of the, the originals with the rear cocking. So. Uh, watch my next video it will be on today or tomorrow so, but thank you guys very much for watching my videos i greatly appreciate it so like share comment subscribe and don't forget to run over there to uh, patriotfirearmsusa.com and let them know i sent you so you can get free shipping now if you let them know i sent you and uh, want to get free shipping on maybe a different item I'd say they'd probably be willing to do that um, it doesn't necessarily have to be the gauntlet uh, so just let them know I sent you and maybe I can get some kind of sponsorship worked out to where they'll you know send me a, a gun every now and then to do a review on for you guys I appreciate you thank you Okay, for the Crony data, got the uh, H&N Barracuda matches. Uh, average speed was 708 feet per second, uh, and that equated out to being um, about 23 and a half foot pounds of energy. And then uh, we got a standard deviation of 3.74. Uh, minimum of 704 max of 715 with an extreme spread of only 11 which is pretty good um, you know it's a regulated PCP so and then we've got the Crossman hollow points these are a 14 point grain 14.3 uh, grain pellet and uh, got an average of 826.90 with a standard deviation of 3.6, a minimum of 819, and a max of 833, with an extreme spread of 14. Not quite as good as the uh, others, the uh, matches, but uh, still, these pellets perform quite well in this gun. Uh, it's got. Uh, roughly a hundred or 21 it's got 21 foot pounds of energy um, so that's got plenty of knockdown power next is the high velocities now these were the fastest pellet they only weighed 9.5 grains so you know of course they're going to be moving pretty good out of it um, umrex says that the gauntlet can do 900 feet per second with lead pellets 14.3 uh, grain I wasn't quite getting that um, and this is you know over what they say but you know it's an alloy pellet um, my average was 946 feet per second uh, standard deviation 3.8 minimum 941 max is 953 with an extreme spread of 12 now you know earlier in the video you see me not being able to hit the broad side of a barn with these so they are pretty useless but if you're just wanting to see what feet per second you can get these are a good pellet to test that well thanks for watching guys that's all i've got for this video